sorry, Jack could die. Wow, this is really sad. Today, we're today we're jumping into Torchwood. This is season one, episode eleven. So before we get into this reaction, y'all, I have been seeing that we need more likes on these videos that I am producing, guys. So please help me out. I'm on a road to six k, but I need the likes, the subscribes, and if you would like to support the channel and see full reactions please join 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 most of my Torchwoods I haven't really had a problem with editing but all the editing that we see on this channel is about 98% me unless it deals with movies and that's like two hours and I sometimes send it to an editor because child I really don't got time to be doing that um, it's a lot of work trust and believe but even just to get Torchwood and my other shows out and to avoid all the copyright it does take me a while to do this and plus working so all i ask is if you could please hit that like button because we i be seeing that over a thousand people will be watching my videos which i thank you guys so much for checking the videos out and i hope you guys enjoy it but for just a free little thing just hit that like button and please if you have not already subscribed hit the subscribe button. Guys, it is free once again, and it takes 2.5 seconds to do. I'm gonna start, I think I'm gonna start showing guys, you guys my likes. I shut it off because when I first started doing YouTube, everybody was obsessed with that like button. Like, how many likes you guys? How many likes you have? How many likes you have? How many likes you have? And like, I was like, wait, are you here to see how many likes I have or the video? So I shut it off, but I actually found out talking to a bunch of other bigger YouTubers who shout out to them, um, that the likes button actually really, really does matter and sharing it and subscribing it, they're all entwined together to help build this channel. So if you don't really feel comfortable with joining the membership as of yet, because you wanna see how this whole channel rolls, um, please, once again, like and share this video. You probably got annoyed by now hearing, like, um, oh, can I fast forward? Cause he's still talking about liking and sharing. Yep, and I sure will. Eight minutes in, you're gonna hear me say it again, randomly. <laughs> no, I'm joking. Um, kinda not really. But yes, um, this will also be a full reaction. I'm gonna do this for all my channel members because even the 99 cent tier, I wanna show you guys love and I want to thank you guys so much for joining the channel so once again you guys have a lot of options on helping to build this channel helping to support this channel and to become a blooper subscriber a membership guy or girl or whoever you are out there that is watching these videos and you love it even if your dog your cats out there your animals your birds whatever it is loves to hear this voice Child, I'm here to stay for now. Um, so let's let's talk about why you guys clicked the damn video. Um, so the last episode out of time, which was episode ten here on Torchwood, I I believe I did I liked it right? I liked it. You're gonna see the preview before you get into the intro that you already saw. Um, so you already know. Now, my least favorite, we'll talk about it, was um, everybody else's favorite, which I believe was episode two called Day One. And my other least favorite episode of this season was episode nine, Random Shoes. Although after hearing a lot of what the subscribers really broke down that episode for me, I really did understand it. So episode 10, Out of Time, I, I'm pretty sure I really did enjoy it. But as you see, it didn't leave an outstanding mark on me. And I'm one of those reactors that does not write notes. And you, as you guys know, here on this channel, I do rotation schedule. So sometimes you'll see it and sometimes you won't. 
And so I'm gonna see if I could do it next week and put out another Torchwood uh, episode because we're about to wrap up Torchwood of season one before we get into the other season. And I kind of want to just kind of remind myself about the show. But as you guys know, here in the channel, I do about maybe 11 uh, shows. So I try to like give every show an equal time. And yes, I do a lot of TV shows because in real life, I don't watch the same show twice. Or, or multiple times a day or a week. I spread it out because I like to enjoy the content that I see. I want to miss the show. And when I get back to it, I'm like all the way there. I'm in it to win it. So I'm ready to jump into this episode. I do remember that the last uh, reaction I did, I saw some comments that said they really couldn't wait until I got into this episode and that things start to pick up. There's only two more episodes, like I said. I think I said, I said in my mind. Um, and then we're gonna be wrapping this up. So I'm sure that it's starting, it's gonna be like, in your face, bow, 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 bam, bam, bam. And I'm here for it. So let me see that intro so we can get in this reaction. Okay. Well, that being said, guys, uh, let's jump into Torchwood and find out exactly what Jack Harkness has got to give. Oh, aliens! Someone was ca captured. Anti weevil spray, hand clamps. Uh, uh, bench press, you see? Look at her. You barely even wave the steak under the grill, and you said, Why are you looking at that? Like you'd rather be somewhere else. She reminds me of Rose Tyler. It chops it away, I look up, and you're just absent. Is this something I've done? Break out with her. What was that? Oh, God! What's happened to you? Uh, I'll have her back for dessert. Come on. Hey, hold on, son. That's my girlfriend. He's my boss. Sit the fuck down! Oh. Don't I ever speak to me like that. If you go now, Gwen! But I've been having a little trouble with this one. Don't let it drift. What? Should have gone back to the house. He's gonna be gone. Dad, come over there! Who the hell were they? That's what I just said. <laughs> Two, have they done this before? And if so, how come we didn't know about it? Unusual injuries being reported at the A&E unit. So we have a wave of weevil attacks to add to our problems. That spray we used on them previously looks like they're becoming immune to it. Two and a half thousand vans of that type registered in the Cardiff Fair. 40 mile radius and the number doubles. Thank you. Look, I've got dozens of excuses. Um, oh, just leave her. It's this job. It never lets up. Look, if you don't that mind, you know, next time you feel like this, you should stay. Then when you're flashing your tits at a passing dick, I do. You see, it's about using your opponent's aggression to your own. You should really upgrade your boyfriend. Ooh. Ooh. Ah. You must be upset about that girl. Well, it's been even more erratic than usual since that thing with Diane. Right. What thing, Tosh? Before she took the plane, they had a thing. I just didn't know they had a thing. They did. Thing. You have a boyfriend. I think it's weeping. Thinks they have a low level of telepathic ability. You mean you might be feeling the pain of another weevil? Yeah. Because that would mean somebody's not only kidnapping weevils, they're causing that pain. Oh. What can you feel? Oh. Well, you have him in the cage. What do you know? This was two hours ago. Mm. What happened? You think it was deliberate? Yeah. These guys really don't like to be won. That makes me all the more determined to find out what it is they're hiding. Ooh. Quit places in a hurry, you tend to be forgetful. You know what they use these warehouses for during World War II? Storing the bodies of dead GIs. Oh. What is it? Looks human. You okay there? I don't think it's a little bit laid out on the floor. We're looking for the people. Oh. Jack is bleeding. Oh. oh God. Weevil marks. Help me with the body. Oh. Talking to cowards or murderers. Oh. I understand this better than you. Because I know how this is going to end. 
We're gonna ensure that you're punished for what happened here. Uh, under that creature that you kidnapped. Is that clear enough? I need you to trace all calls to and from this number in the last 24 hours. This is Owen's voicemail. Don't leave a message. I want you back at the hub immediately. We've got a Weevil murder, so get your phony little ass over here now. Looks like he was married with a kid. No shit, Sherlock. Uh, right, Weevil's go for the kill. Straight for the jugular. Face. Black eye. Bruises to the cheekbone. I reckon these wounds were inflicted by humans. The last incoming number was blocked and the phone's entire call history has been erased. Damn. Nothing to connect anyone to the murder. The shittiest part about being a police officer and I can't get away from it. Thanks for your kind words of support. <laughs> you can always count on Owen to make you feel better. <laughs> I didn't want her to go. She went. Mm. Why are we still doing this, me and you? Doing what? Fine. Let's not. I was getting bored of your fuck tricks anyway. <laughs> Good job, Owen. Wait like garbage and then she's just worried about what he... Oh. So either they own it or they had previous contacts with the estate agents. She goes in the middle of fixing your cover story. Hang on, why me? Uh. If they've got access to CCTV, they'll recognize us. Mm. Yeah. Mr. Harper? Yeah. Mark Lynn. We export <laughs> jellied eels, really? Huge gross market. Uh, any family to relocate? That's me. It's better that way. And you're looking for premises out by the docks. A couple should be perfect. Ooh. Thanks. That's just so coincidental. Oh, we're in. This will give us everything on his hard journey. Yeah, we're still in. You don't notice anything? These have got the square footage you're looking for. These all look like shitholes to me. Uh. I see your sign outside a big place in the Q section of the dock. Pretty much signed and sealed. Like. What about a unit on an industrial estate? You just happen to have a list of suitable premises. Nah. Why don't we go for a drink? Oh. On your own in a strange city, see, I remember that feeling. Good to meet you, Mark. Yeah, I'll give you a bell. Yeah, he's the guy with the mask on. Then he'll want to know what other people say about the business. Now he'll see what Owen has to say about himself. So the number one supplier of jelly eels in becoming an affiliate or Harper's franchise holder. Harper's sales. Job done. Good job. Talk down or not, stay here and monitor Mark Lynch's movements. Yanto with me. I'll come with you. Remember, don't let it drift. Don't let it drift. My oh, man is still there. He's a pushover. He's moving. Oh, you here now, you? Staff stack do. Staff stack do? All day job. Since when is Dav getting married? No, he's not. So he's having a stay in single stag. A few beers, strip club, that sort of thing. Oh, strip club. But I'm in tonight. Who cares? Well, I'm not. Said I'm not. <laughs> Bye, Gwen. I already made my statement to the police. Let me tell you what did this to you. He's like a char, rippled skin, Ugh. rage of a wild animal. Oh, is it a boar? <laughs> Bad knives. Liar. So why were your wounds described medics as bite to mark? You consider the consequences should you not tell me the truth. Right. This creature will attack again. Yep. Somebody will die. <laughs> what a funny face, Jack. They killed me. Who? Everyone. Everyone. I won't. Okay, Janet, time for a trip out. It could kill any number of people before then. Uh, oh, we've touched and set it loose in the same place where they took the other one. You're very close to Janet. Right, just taking a left. Pedestrian access only. Ah. That's why I call service. Uh. Shit. We got a problem here, boys. Not for you. Let's get it out of the way. Thanks. <laughs> just so I know where we stand, we'd never deliberately put a human being through that. But Weevil's a fair game, is that right? Uh, we need to follow them. Jack is kind of This is your gaff. Uh, I'm in the wrong business. God. You suck. <laughs> it's your outlet. Oh, who's this guy? Mm. The anger. You're not even living here yet and you've got people coming after you. You're not the only pissed off bloke out there. It's what the world does to us. You end up with a workforce. Mm. What does it bring? It's nothing. Nothing. That's what I said. Success is no worth other than itself. What's the point of your life? Uh, so much more. If you know where to look. Okay. It's closer than you think. Oh, how close? Something's coming. Out there. In the dark. Okay. We heard the second time we heard us. Two pints is all you get down. They've gone on without me. 
Gwen. I need to tell you something. What sort of thing? I've been sleeping. I've been having sex with someone else from work. I mean, he's a bit of a tosser, actually, and it's all going to stop, but uh, Shut up. I'm sorry. Then, then, then what are you telling me? Because I'm ashamed. I need you to forgive me. Exactly. Because I've drugged you. Drugged you? Just an amnesia pill. You said to you'll wake up tomorrow and you forget everything. Girl, God, I hate so Gwen. Bitch! Reese, stay with me, Reese. Say you forgive me. Reese, please, say it! Say you forgive me! Gwen is my least favorite character. Isn't that nice? Whatever it is. A daft, is that what he calls it? That guy is another thing. Told you there was more to see. I'm up. Uh, Don't get too close, though. Took five of us to bring it in. What? One of the lads even reckons it's an alien. Wait, is he just torturing them? I think it's us. I mean, you and me. It's what we've become when all we have left is our rage. A bit of smack. What? Punch you. What do you want me to do it for you? Uh, it just feels a bit weird, that's all. <laughs> 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 we all need a punch bag. So who are you, Owen? Sorry. Pretty stupid not to assume you're not connected to those two in the black SUV. Any deals? I'm not sure that was your greatest idea. Uh, Whoever you are, you've already fucked up my plans. I'm not responsible for people's life choices. Why didn't you go to the cops? They are parochial pig shits whose minds would implode if they saw this. Is that who you are? A little kid hiding behind a gun. If you want to know what happens, you're not going to find out because of a weapon. Now you're just you. Ripping things back to the core, I mean, now we're just two blokes. Did you murder Dan Hodges? I mean, you let that thing loose on him. Dan wasn't murdered, he was one of us. I can do better than that. I need to tell them about this Ju Juby pizza. It is so small. Anyone? No. She said, it's like this way. So what have we got now? Nothing. What's well, your idea, wasn't it? I'm supposed to be looking. Wait and see. What's going on? You'll find out. Is the pizza not good? <laughs> I would love to know who is like Team Gwen at this moment. <laughs> what? Is he getting a text on his phone? My name is Gwen and I'm going to walk real slow to the body now. What does it say? Jack, I... Uh... Yes. Can you hear me? What the hell are you doing there? I told you to go home. Uh. Charlie Foxtrot, 106, Bravo Yank. It's good for a building. It's gonna have a Lynch Frost sign. The property Mark Lynch knows is empty. So the question is what happens when they get there? Ordinary blokes just trying to find meaning in a world that doesn't have any. It's a say. In religion or in life? Sheesh. This is only the warm-up. Come on! Whoever <laughs> stays in there the longest across the night takes home all the money. You're next! So what about Dan Hodges' book? He wouldn't come out. Oh. I think he got in there and he realised he didn't want to live enough. He's has to stop. More people are going to die. How long are we going to keep playing this game, Owen? You lie? Bullshit? But you are hiding, Owen. Get in the cage. Lower the gun, and then I will get into the cage. That guy would play a really good Joker, just saying. He has a face for it. The longest anyone's been in there. That'd be Dan Hodge. To the darkest recesses of your own soul. Open the door. You did this to him. He did it to himself. It's over now. These creatures are to be left alone. What are you doing? It's over. You gonna die too? Ah! I went really depressed. You shouldn't have. I hate grapes. <laughs> you want us to apologize? I felt totally at peace. And then you blunder in. You're always no mess, Jack. Why don't you back in work tomorrow? Doesn't answer this question, Jack. What's that about? Well, well, at the ending of the episode left me going, wait, what does that mean? But then I feel like it's just 
it was just um the show showing us I could be wrong but this is what I interpreted that Jack has no fear and those whatever they're called they maybe live off of fear kind of or whatever or when they when Jack showed he was not fear and he went whatever he did um they were like yo bro you are all the way insane so they backed up and went you know backed up into the little corners and said you win you got this one boo um Gwen 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 oh god I was not annoyed by Gwen all the way I was annoyed by Gwen I lied I was annoyed by Gwen but I'm so tired I couldn't show you how I fully was annoyed by Gwen so I know that would be amazing for most people because when I go in I go in I let half half so Gwen doing what she did you know what it is to anytime I see somebody that is like a cheater or a liar and I since I dealt with that and the many men not the many men but the few people that I was in relationship with ended up being cheaters and liars I don't know that's why I'm not really a fan of Owens I never would be a fan because he's just a player but Gwen has a good man and uh, although he did get kind of crazy but she left him at the, 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 the restaurant but then what, what was she was supposed to do because damn thing she's over but the thing is I understand that he doesn't know everything that's going on with Gwen I know Gwen can't tell him anything but at the end of the day for me I would respect her a lot more if she was just like listen I love you but I need to distance myself with you my job everything I'm sleeping with my work then she ended up telling him and I was like wow it, I, I was taken aback I was like wow she really told her man that she cheated on him but then she said she gave him the amnesia pill and we would learn about the amnesia pill if you give too much like it's not good so it's not good at all and so he was like you're a selfish bitch and she is she's all about herself I hate the way she cries I I honestly don't even like the bangs with the straight I just don't I just am not a fan of Gwen I'm just she's my least favorite character of this show I think she's my least favorite character of almost all the shows I do on this channel she just is an annoying person and I don't like her um I know that some people really do like Gwen actually but I'm just not a fan of Gwen and I don't see that changing anytime soon so if you hear me bash her on and off during the reactions I'm so sorry but I am blunt and she is irritating but hopefully I'll film this always late at night like I am right now so I won't be putting that much energy in how much I dislike her but you guys get the point overall this story for me was about an 8.59 um I you know what I don't didn't like about the episode since let's just talk I don't I would have preferred I want a big baddie like I wanted that guy who played whoever he was like I feel like we could have done so much with his character he was an angry person for whatever the reasons was he kind of did give reasons on why he was the way he was you saw him torment like these uh, creatures and I feel like if he just stuck around for the rest of the season at least which was it's not that many more episodes and he could be this big antagonist like I just want that in a TV show I want a main antagonist like we have a lot in Doctor Who there's some other shows there's always like a main antagonist but I don't want the main person to just come and then go after the episode like he dies like that guy just went and killed himself and he said it was because it's over but what was over like like what was over? what was over over like I wish that he stuck around and he kept going and then at the ending of maybe the season if he wanted to do something like that and him being like it's over like you know I gave you guys a run for your money and now I'm gonna walk into a cage with a guy or a beast or animal alien with no hair and sharp fangs and I'm gonna kill myself I would have been like yes but he just did it and I don't know his full on story or what what that character could have done so this is just how I feel I just hope that maybe in season two we'll get like a big bad uh, character and it sticks around until at least the ending of the season and that way I could appreciate it a lot more but that's just my take on how I feel comment down below what you guys feel um maybe we feel the same way um I don't know but 
Now I'm gonna go to bed, cause I'm tired. And while I'm sleeping, I'll be thinking about your comments. And now I'm gonna give you that outro that I love and you love so much. With that being said, guys, you see this reaction realize you are not subscribed. Hit the subscribe button also please like and share this content because it does wonder for this channel. And I'll see you all next time on Andres El Rey. Boom.